are back you guys finally after so many cutscenes oh my goodness oh, 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 oh. Well, prepare to see just about that in the end because uh, there's gonna be like around 40 to 50 minutes of ending cutscenes so yeah this game has a lot of cutscenes um, he said there was like a discount but it's not like I really need anything right now. Yeah. I mean, maybe reloads, but... Just some bullets make sure I have enough for, uh... What's coming. So we're getting close to another boss battle. Let's get some suppressors, because I need to be very sneaky in this part. Very sneaky. Ah, I don't have any of this one. And, uh, suppressor, definitely. Wonder what goes here. Flashlight? No. Screw that. <laughs> Let me replace it with this and, uh, or. Not that one. I guess I'll, it, I guess it's a good thing to keep them unlocked for the next run. Oh, I haven't unlocked the javelin. That's weird. Although it's not like I really need it much, because rocket launcher RPG seven works very well. That one, it's like you shoot and then you need to uh, let go of the of the missile, I, I mean of the thing itself, and then Good grab another job, one. Snake. You made it on board. Welcome to Haven. Enemy units are already on their way. Break through their defenses and find GW server room. Now this area is super, super hard. Because if you get, if you, if, if they see you, it's like almost impossible to hide back again, so can't afford to be seen here. And to top things off... Crap. It's not the gun that I needed. It's the other one. This one. Oh crap, I forgot to reload. There. This one kills them in one shot. Um... Yeah, yeah, I heard ya. And, uh... The thing is that I think this is the best path, but I don't know, I guess every path could work. Only that on this path, if you watch out through the distance, you can see the enemies coming and you take them out just before they get to you. So it's not like you can just rush through, you gotta take your time so that when you get to the area that you need to go, nobody's seen you. And also be careful how you use your solid eye. I'm using it because I need to keep out, keep an eye on the radar. But as soon as you spot them, um, hide. It's like that thing is responding to every time I talk. <laughs> I don't even know how it can hear me all the way over here. So I'm not screaming. Yeah, I wish my recordings could be perfect and silent, but I live in a freaking jungle, so what the hell can I do? Alright. Let's use the radar again. I see something up ahead. gecko that I saw on the radar. Mm. You just keep hugging the wall and you'll get there either way. The same way you'll get through any other way but like I said the middle is super uh, difficult. Uh, the right side it's almost like this one. 
which is that I'm really used to taking this left side. Here, all you need to do is just get close to the wall and slowly go through. And now, we keep crawling, because there's some enemies at the roof. I think you can see them from here. They show up in a second. There. Need to move a little closer. Yep. And there's one on the right. I always remember these uh, two particularly, because they're the ones that every time I got to this spot, they spotted me when I thought that I had taken care of everybody. There's one on the right, and that should be all of them. Right there. <laughs> Alright, so... I think that's all of them, but I'm gonna go on the safe side. I'm not gonna be too confident. The thing you need to be concerned about now is the gecko. They walk back and forth, so you don't have really that much time to open a door that you need to work on. Let's see if I have some magazines, because it would be really useful right now. And I do, I have eight. Freaking awesome. Great. So I'm gonna be using these. This is a perfect spot to use them. If you don't have any, check if you have chaff grenades. If you don't have chaff grenades, try and make us some sort of distraction so that the gecko um, turn away for at least a few seconds so, so you can get that door open. Because the problem is that the door is one of those doors that the ships have that you turn uh, like a wheel. So you really, really need to. Um, Snake, use that watertight door to get Yeah, watertight. So I need to get this gecko away from this area. Throw that over there. I didn't hear it. Let's try that again. I wonder if it did get his attention. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's get this open. Come on. There we go. This that that was that was all about it. It was opening the freaking door. So let me get some face time for your snake. Now, although really you really don't need any camo at this point of the game anymore. Because now we're going straight for the boss battle. So there's gonna be cutscenes, I believe. Or flashbacks? Yeah. The corridor leading to the depth is defended by directed energy weapons that emit certain types of microwaves. Did you say did you say microwaves? If that brings that the waves will start to evaporate faster than Sounds like the perfect job for me. That was funny coming from Snake. <laughs> a little bit of gameplay here, but it's just to move inside the room. Yeah, not much.
be fighting some frogs. Meryl's in danger. Take out the enemy before they get to her. It's really difficult. They have their pretty good shots, and they're everywhere. So it's really hard to find a really good spot to hide. So you just keep yourself moving and take care of as many of them as you can. They're on the second floor as well, so keep that in mind. I guess they're just at the second floor. Ah. I want to save up the rations as much as I can for the boss battle. I'm totally going to need it. Anybody else? Ah! A cheap shot. Exactly where they are. Pretty good at hiding and throwing flash grenades at me. afraid. Oh great, look at all those dots that suddenly showed up. my noodles. <sighs> I think that's all of them. Yep. Snake. 
prepared for battle. Let me hear you scream, howl, roar from the very depths of your soul. Bye.